from equation number three that we have already derived so the process is quite similar to the derivation that we have done for newton's forward difference method once you have done it correctly you will also follow here very easily so now what we will do approximation okay so we will do approximation so what is that approximation x equal to x naught so sorry x equal to xn this time we don't have x naught we have xn so you know that um, x equal to xn plus sh that we have already done so if x equal to xn xn plus sh h cannot be equal to zero so ultimate solution is s equal to zero so if x equal to x at at x x equal to xn s is equal to zero so that means that means um, you will use equation number um, equation number 3 implies f dash x at x equal to xn okay so that is nothing but f dash xn so in equation number 3 in equation number 3 we will put make all the s equal to 0 okay here will make s equal to 0 so that gives rise to this form 1 by h is equal to del f n don't uh, get worried del f n means del f x n that we have written this is a short form of writing the same thing so 1 by 2 del 2 f n plus 1 by 3 del 3 f n plus 1 by 4 del 4 fn plus 1 by 5 del 5 fn okay so that is the equation number 4 and remember this is the approximation equation this is not the real equation okay this is the approximation equation and equation number 3 is a real equation okay again differentiating 3 see in 3 it is already f dash x if you differentiate again okay so it will be nothing but f double dash x okay so we have f double dash x so f double dash s is nothing but d2 fx dx2 okay so this is nothing but d d x d f x d x so d d s f dash x d s d x so here i have just written as f dash x this in place of d x i have written d s and d s and then d s and then d x so ultimately it is neutralized balanced now if you rem follow the steps similarly if you if you refer because you know that 1 by sorry ds dx is nothing but 1 by h with this already there will be n 1 by h so total it will be 1 by h square so if you simplify it you can try at home you can and you can find out it will come out to be like this so i'm not going to repeat all the things this is simply mathematics I think you are qualified enough to do all those things at home with pen and paper. If you find any difficulty in the calculation, you just let me know. I'll, uh, in class also, we usually we used to derive it, uh, get it derived by the students only. So, uh, here also I have already provided the notes. Uh, remember, these questions will be asked in examination. So, you can't, uh, you know... Uh, just memorize the things you need to derive it so you need to know each and every step so that's why it is very much required to do
practice with pen and paper otherwise uh, it is of no use so we have uh, so that's all about um, so in the same way you can find out approximation for so you can same same way you can find out approximation for f double dash x at x equal to x naught sorry x equal to xn so that will be f double dash xn and that will also something like 1 by h square so it is uh, already given in the note you can check whether the facts or the terms that are written they are they are every they are correct or not if you find any mistake you just let me know i will surely do the correction in the note it's up to you to uh, find the mistakes if you do not study it well the mistakes will be there in the note always and you will have to pay the penalty so risk is up to you so if you want to get full score in exam it's your responsibility to check the notes carefully and let me know if some modification are to be done so that's all about newton's uh, backward difference method um, uh, and after this i will upload some numerical methods solved using uh, newton's backward difference method thank you